Great, now we're gonna look at making a CD label in Photoshop. And there's a lot of templates out there on the web already. You can Google for them. Um, I personally use worldlabel.com for a lot of different uh, items. So if you just go to worldlabel.com slash pages slash cd underscore template.htm, you'll get this page here, which has a variety of different sizes depending on what exactly you're going to be producing. Um, always good to know your end product before you start into your projects. So for this one it's sort of a standard label size uh, CD Stomper. Um, I'll just go to download that and here we've got their sort of generic layout. Um, I'll just go right to download templates and there we've got a PDF template which can be edited with all sorts of different programs. So we're clicking that and download It'll ask us what we want to do, and I'm just simply going to save it uh, right now to the desktop. And let's give it a name, um, CD Label. That was pretty quick, so we're all set with the internet for now. We can uh, close out of our current document and our other document. And just go to File and Choose New. And a lot of times I like to sort by details and then Date Modified because it just brings it right to the top. I don't have to really dig for anything. So with that selected, it's going to show us a quick preview. We have the option if we wanted to boost the resolution up. We can do that here. We'll hit OK. And there's our template. Now. Uh, the part about um, adding artwork is fairly straightforward. Um, you want to be making new layers, either with this little arrow over here, which has a new layer uh, feature there. And that just makes new layers, so you can drop artwork in there or text. Um, you can also, under this layer menu, you can choose new layer as well. So with our new layer selected, we could click on the text tool and just click once on the canvas. That converts our layer to a text layer. And we'll just have a great uh, name here. It's called Rock Band. And um, that text is obviously way too big for the label. So what I did is I'm going to click and drag over to select the text. And then um, you could either punch in a number here, pull down the menu. Um, you can also, as a great feature in some of the menus in Photoshop, not all of them, but You'll see you can, your, your cursor changes to a double arrow. You can actually click and drag and affect the size that way. So a lot of times that's a lot faster because visually you can see that is going to fit um, rather than doing it by the numbers. Another thing about the text tool is when you're editing like this, you can highlight. But um, when you move outside of it, you've also got the move tool. So you're, you, can, you can highlight text, but you can also move it while you're highlighting it. Um, I want this to be red, so I've, I'm going to highlight it again. And our text color is up top here. I'll click once on that and switch it to red. That looks pretty good. Um, now, before we back out of this tool or commit to the change, um, take a look under the text warp button as well uh, for some other great options. When you click that, um, it's going to say, you know, it's going to remove some certain attributes. Uh, and that's okay, we can just let that go. Um, by default, the style set to none, so we've got to give it uh, an arc to start. This will be what is going to uh, preview what it's going to look like. And you can kind of put it up to the edge there and see it's not quite um, the same arc. If you really want to match it, you'll just sort of push it up to the edge, get the right one, and then you can pull it back down. You hit OK and then commit your change and you've got some text. Uh, as, as far as um, importing artwork um, you would basically go to File and Place and with um, your artwork ready to go we'll just uh, drop it in there. In a file place it just imports the artwork onto its own layer and 
here um, we've got them side by side and if you wanted just a section of that um, we'll say place that's fine I'm just gonna grab a small section of this here and copy and paste it hide the original layer drop it in there and make sure that it's under the text layer. And we've got the beginnings of a CD label. Um, certainly want to print these out and see how it appears on your sheets and make adjustments if they're needed. And uh, that's a quick way to make a CD label.